Hey, it's Angie with News OK. I'm here at the Gaylord Pickens Museum with the Oklahoma Heritage Association for the Oklahoma Hall of Fame inductees lunch. You all are announcing today the Oklahoma Hall of Fame for 2011, is that correct? We are. We're very excited about it. There's a lot of buzz. Okay, now you have one of the inductees here today, um, but the actual ceremony is in November? It's in November 17th I'm in Oklahoma City at the Cox Convention Center. Okay, we're here with Harold Hamm who is being inducted into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. What a great experience, obviously. How exciting for you. You are uh, originally from Enid and in the oil industry, is that right? Yes, we are. Our company is located in Enid and we're actually relocating the company to Oklahoma City this next year. Of course, of course, we've heard. So, so then tell us how exciting it is for you to be inducted. Well, it's very exciting. I mean, you know, if I'm a native Oklahoman, of course. Oklahoma is so unique, uh, settled by the run, primarily when the lands were open. Uh, originally, you know, I, I was born at Lexington, Oklahoma, the run of 1889. And uh, of course, in uh, Enid, uh, you know, that the Turkey Strip was. Uh, opened up later on, 93, uh, 1893. And, you know, it's a pioneering spirit. I think that it is embodied in our people. And it's still here today. We're experiencing it so much in Oklahoma City, uh, the rebirth, if you will, of Oklahoma City and the, all the great things that's happening. So it's so exciting uh, for Oklahoma. Well, as you can imagine, Oklahomans are wonderful people with a lot of great attributes. So we received over 100 nominations. It's a, it's a very thoughtful and deliberate process. There's um, an anonymous committee that meets, and it, the committee represents each part of our state, and they go through and vet all these nominations to come up with the class that you're going to meet today. And so the luncheon is just kind of a nice way to announce it. Well, you know, whenever we induct somebody in the Hall of Fame, we schedule them for 72 hours. There's really not a lot of fun in it for them. We have them going straight from rehearsals to meetings. And so this reunion was started to really let them meet the new class members and also see each other in a more enjoyable, relaxed setting beyond the induction. So it's kind of turned out to be something fun everybody looks forward to. Yes, and it's not only the nominees who are being inducted this year, also past uh, inductees are here. We have 19 classes um, from the 84 classes of the Oklahoma Hall of Fame represented today. We have someone that was inducted in the 60s, Danny B. Hightower. So we're very excited everybody comes back for this. Wonderful, wonderful. So if people want more information, what's your website? www.oklahomaheritage.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you.